boy sings his way into your heart. Hey, pay attention. I'm talking to you. This is Tom Petty. That's right. You didn't know it'd be me when you turned on the radio, but it is, and you're on Tom Petty Radio. Now, how can you make two mistakes like that? Seven. Goals doing uh, the old Larry Williams song, Slow Down, and what an arrangement. Before that, a really cool Paul McCartney track uh, from his album Tug of War called The Pound is Sinking. And uh, don't hear that one as much as you should. And you know, we'd like to do that on the Buried Treasure Show. Just, uh, you know, scrape one off and play it for you if uh, we think you ought to hear it. Love and Spoonfall did Nashville Cats, and that was actually a hit for the Spoonfall. It was uh, a, kind of an ode to the Nashville guitar players. And there's a terrible mistake in that record where he he mentions that the Yellow Sun records were all made in Nashville. Now, that, that kind of made me mad because they were all made in Memphis. And nothing against Nashville, but it's not Memphis. Uh, that's where the Sun records were made. So before we pick a bone with John Sebastian, I'm going to get back into some music here. We're out here at... Uh, Rick's Recorders, where we always do our show, and there's a little carpentry going on. We had to come in a day early here because this uh, Christian punk group that they have out here, um, it's called Thorn, is uh, got the room booked. So we're we're having to come in uh, after hours here and do the show for you, but we don't mind. You know, Rick's is okay. You don't need to build things when we're in here working, but here's the Rolling Stones. looks into the mind's eye so many possibilities so many challenges so many ways to grow the human condition would i rather listen to the radio tom petty's buried treasure show hello are you listening to me on the Tom Petty radio? I will not give my name, but I am a very famous international rock star. Tom Petty radio. I like the music. It's got the big balls. My friend, Tom Petty. He is the musician with the big balls. Basketballs. Competitive radio. I cannot get my name. Right, he's doing all right. Yes, sir. He's doing all right. Joe Tex, show me. Great record. The Bubble Puppy before that. That's right. I said the Bubble Puppy was the name of the group. The song Hot Smoke and Sassafras. Now you look at that and you go, that's got to be an interesting record, right? Hot Smoke and Sassafras, which I'm not even sure what that is. The Bubble Puppy, and they were out of San Antonio, Texas, and here they are making their first appearance ever on the Buried Treasure Show. I've had over the years three, four requests for the Bubble Puppy, and I think about it and I go, I can't do that. Yes! But I... <laughs> But, you know, I played it over the weekend, and I kind of found not only a little bit of humor, but I thought it was actually a pretty cool little record, so I hope you enjoyed it. And we got going with the Guess Who from 1966, It's My Pride, written by guitarist Randy Bachman. And everybody here at the Buried Treasure Show loves to read your emails. We pass them all around. I mean, they wind up out there in the office. The girls love to read them. We love to read them. And just nice emails from all you people. And in addition to your questions and your comments, your requests, there's a few complaints now and then, some praises. There's always at least one gripey person, you know, because we didn't play Jethro Tull or something. They're upset. Jethro Tull! Jethro Tull! Jethro Tull! But whatever is on your mind, I want to know about it. And our email address is buriedtreasure at tompetty.com. Here's Alan Price, Ex of the Animals. This is Tom Bay Radio. Here's another song from an artist who influenced Tom. Some blues now for you, courtesy of Johnny Winter on Tom Petty Radio. Bob Dylan doing most likely 
You go your way and I'll go mine. That's from the Bob Dylan uh, Blonde on Blonde album. I heard a story from Al Cooper, who played on that record, played the keyboard, that, that the the bass player on the session, I wish I could remember his name. Uh, I'll do it when I actually go on the radio. I'll get his name. Um, he uh, played the bass, in, and he actually picked up the trumpet and played that part to Bob and said, we could overdub this. And Bob said, well, that that's not what we're doing here. On this album, we're going to play everything live. So the bass player figured out a way to play the bass with his left hand and add that little da 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 da, -da trumpet line in there. I, I thought that was interesting. Uh, Bo Diddley did Pretty Thing for you. And I, uh, Carl. I said beautiful and I got him in there. You can't come in here. I don't know God was just back at everybody. Else. No. Somebody take Carl out. It's that screen door. I don't take a phone. I don't want to... it's the studio owner. Brother Carl. Oh, I don't know. Uh, no. Me. You're going to have to sit in there. Oh, yeah, whatever. The guy only breathes with his mouth. <laughs> Uh, well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Buried Treasure Show. Once again, our email address is buriedtreasure at tompetty.com. You can get a set list for the show at tompetty.com. And I am Tom Petty, and I'll be back again next week with the best in rock, rhythm, and blues on the Buried Treasure Show. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Tom Petty Radio. Oh, this is so boring. I quit knocking on the doors, please. Hey, sorry that we're out of here. Rick's recorders, anything can happen. There's a window into the office, and sometimes somebody brings their kid to work. Can you please leave? I don't bring my kid to work, and I don't think anybody should. You know why? I don't like them. Well, guess what, Tom Petty? I don't like you either. Anyway, <laughs> here come the emails. Screw you. <laughs> I actually like kids, sort of. Liar. Now, Dad, can we please go? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Memphis, Tennessee. That's where they recorded Al Green singing Driving Wheel. Another Memphis recording right before that, Elvis Presley, when he was just inventing himself, Just Because, produced by Sam Phillips, from the Sun Studios. Coco Taylor got us going, Wang Dang Doodle, written and produced by Willie Dixon. And if you listen close, you can hear Willie singing along in the background there. But before I get too distracted, I should remind you that the Barry Treasure Show comes to you each and every week from Rick's Airport Recorders. The best sound. Left speaker, right speaker, left speaker, right speaker, left speaker, right speaker. In the LA airport area. Hey man, I found out some really crazy stuff here. This is early Guess Who and great bass line. I want you to check this out. It's called It's My Pride. <laughs> And uh, where was I now? I can't even see straight. They they pulled a drape across the uh, big window here, but uh, we did have a 1969 Oldsmobile out there, and I can hear it revving its engine. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. They've opened it up for me. That's uh, Rick of Rich Recorder fame. He's got a big old mobile he likes to run around the parking lot with. Quite a place, you know, if, if you've never been here, and I'm sure you haven't, or you'd be on my staff probably, uh, there's just three of us do the show. That would be our producer, Mark, engineer, Ryan, and me, your host, Tom Petty. And we come to you from Rick's Recorders out here, Rick's Airport Recorders, excuse me, the stationery's been changed here. And we come from this little studio, and we broadcast right out here by the airport, so we get a lot of noise from time to time. It's quite a place. It has a uh, picture window in the, the main room here. We can see the...
parking lot slash petting zoo where the animals show up from time to time. It's been mostly chickens and a goat and an old used up Democrat out there most of the time. But it's, you know, they started as a tire store and I guess some days the tire store is open, some days it's closed. I can't figure that out. Inventory seems to come and go. You know, sometimes we're really flush with tires, some there's none. So, how they got in the recording business, I don't know, but I really thank them for having us. And uh, since we do call this the rock rhythm and blues, I'm gonna slide into some blues for you. You're gonna really enjoy. This is from the King, live at the Regal Theater. get too distracted, I should remind you that the Buried Treasure Show comes to you each and every week from Rick's Airport Recorders. The best sound. Left speaker, right speaker, left speaker, right speaker, left speaker, right speaker. In the LA airport area. Hey man, I found out some really crazy stuff here. This is early Guess Who and great bass line. I want you to check this out. It's called It's My Pride. George Harrison's. Huh, that Beatle. Yes. Because Harrison wasn't only a Beatle. He was also a traveling Wilbury. And it was no mean feat to be a Wilbury. Legends only need apply. Dylan and Petty used to make a game of it, in fact. He used to throw a name out there and decide an instant if that person was or was not a Wilbury. It required some ineffable combination of wit, cool, and credibility. Like Jack Nicholson, for example. Wilbury. Richard Dreyfus. Great actor. But not a Wilbury. And you, Spiros, it has become clear, are not a Wilbury. Uh -huh. 